Hello out there YouTube land, this is Solon and uh, this is my first video on a comic book haul that I've done. Uh, I went to the Atlanta Comic Con back in December and picked up, picked up some pretty good books. This is the first time I'm sharing any hauls that I've picked up uh, and we'll be sharing more videos with you in the future. But before I get started, I want to give a shout out to a couple of new subscribers, uh, Rag718, Rag718. Man, this guy, you need to check out his channel. This guy's got some great videos, uh, some great information. His knowledge about those minor key issues is just fantastic. I picked up a lot of good information on watching his videos, and you can too. I want to give him a shout out. Uh, Comic Sniper uh, YouTube channel. Check him out. Uh, appreciate him coming over and subscribing. And if you like these videos, be sure and hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. And uh, we're trying to have some more of these uh, videos put on YouTube as we uh, collect more and more comics. But today's video I'm going to do is one where I picked up several issues at the Ala, uh, excuse me, the Atlanta Comic Con that was held back in December. That's a con that they hold every three months. Uh, it's a one-day event, usually on Sunday. You can check them out online and find out where the next con's at. I think it's coming up in March. But uh, it's a good little show to go to if you're in the Marietta, Georgia area. And uh, pick up some good stuff. I'm going to show you what, ha what I picked up when I went there and raided the $3 bins. Now, I always like weird titles, uh, especially Silver Age books. I uh, picked this one up. It's called uh, The Shadow, issue number 7. Uh, it's kind of a weird comic. Kind of guy looks like a giant uh, plastic man, don't he? But uh, I got that for three dollars. I would say that's probably in the uh, the good category. It's not a not a real great high quality book, but it's just kind of a strange title. Some of that odd stuff I just really like to collect and uh, and keep in my collection. So I picked that one up for three dollars. Silver Age, The Shadow, number seven. Also in the three dollar. Uh, book box another weird title like I said I kind of like those weird ones this one's danger this is danger number 17 a silver age book again the quality is probably about a you know a very good good very good it's it's not one that you want to consider for investment purposes but just fun to collect if you like uh, if you like me and like those weird titles silver age stuff it's just kind of one that's fun to collect danger Number 17. Here's another fun one. This is Reptosaurs the Terrible. Reptosaurus the Terrible. Uh, looks like it's a dinosaur guy. Uh, Charlton Comics, which uh, doesn't, which has gone out of business. A lot of their books are starting to see steady increase. Uh, this book is kind of weird because of uh, this thing right here. I don't know if you can see that or not. What does that look like to you? Well, we don't know, but it's on the cover. Interesting cover. Reptosaurus, the terrible. Uh, I think this is a number one, but it's a weird cover, weird character, kind of that oddball stuff. I like to collect. Anyway, great, great book for three bucks. Can't beat it for three bucks. Get into a little more of the mainstream stuff. Uh, picked up this Marvel Tales number four. Uh, this one I would say is probably a low grade fine. It's got an ink pen date at the top. Really no stress marks, uh, no creases. It's got some soiling. The, the corners are blunted just a little bit. But overall, a really good looking book. Uh, that one was $3 also out of the $3 bin. Marvel Tales number four. Got this one here. Uh, picked up a Doctor Strange number 175. Good looking book, uh, no major creases, uh, page is good and flat, it does have a, a fold chip out right here, I think it's folded under actually, fold chip out right here in the corner, it's got some uh, spine uh, breaks in it, some blunted corners, but overall I mean it's a good clean book, you know good clean book, no major creasing, page is good, good flat book. Uh, no folding or torn pages on the inside. So I got that one for $3. Doctor Strange number 175 out of the $3 bin there. Nice book. For three bucks. Can't beat that. Daredevil number 46. 
I picked this one up for three dollars out of the three dollar bin. Uh, it's real, another real good book. I mean, this guy had some great books. He was getting ten bucks a piece for him, and there, I guess, toward the end, he started marking them down for like three dollars. So I was rating his three dollar book. Uh, the Daredevil 46. It's got some a little bit of fade up here at the top. Got no major spine breaks. It's got a couple small ones there. No creasings. A uh, little bit of soiling, not much. I mean, it's just a good looking book for three dollars. Can't beat that. Picked up the. I always like to get the Captain America's early ones, Silver Age, when I can find them. Uh, this one was three bucks. Captain America 101. I say it's probably very good. It's got uh, some fraying along the spine, but it's a good solid book. Got some creasing in the corners down here. Um, got a stamp print, I guess, where it was at uh, a bookstore. Looks like somebody stamped it right on the top here, right about here. But, uh, you know, in all in all, a good book for three bucks. I like to pick up those early stuff when I get them cheap. So I think it was a good find for three dollars. Picked up this cap in America number 105. About the same way. It's got a, some minor creasing on it. Good shiny glossy cover. Uh, no major major damage. I would still say this is probably a low grade fine. Uh, but uh, maybe a very good low grade fine. $3. Got that out $3 bin. I love this color. I always like it when Captain America, the, the old covers had him, a, a large shot of him in his suit. Very nice cover. I like that artwork on that one. There's another Captain America, 107. He had nearly a small little run there from about 101 up through uh, probably 112, 115 maybe. But I like these just because of the cover artwork. It's always great on these early Captain Americas. Captain America 107 for $3. I mean, it's a good flat book. I'd probably say it's a very good plus condition Captain America 106 another great cover uh, looks like a uh, Jack Kirby cover Captain America 106 it's got a lot of action in it uh, huge Captain America like I like to see him drawn on the covers uh, this one here is uh, got some foxing on the edges but overall, I'm mean, still a great little book. Three dollars out of three dollar bin. Can't beat that. Picked up this Submariner and the Incredible Hulk Tales to Astonish number ninety four. I would say it's a very good. You know, uh, it's got a lot of creasing on the spine, some wear and tear on the spine. Overall, I think it's a good solid book, and there's no missing pages, things like that. Uh, pages on the inside looks pretty good, but covers seem a lot of wear. But I mean, you know, for $3, can't beat that. Submariner, Incredible Hook, Tales to Astonish, number 94, three bucks. Pull this out of the $3 bin. This is Thanos number one. Uh, you know, Thanos is hot right now. The movie fixing to come out, that's going to have him in it. Uh, the number ones are, are getting harder to find. This is uh, direct edition number one. Three dollars. Uh, I think this book's probably already going for about fifteen to twenty on eBay, but we got that one for three bucks, and it looks like it's a nine point eight. Now here's one that did not come out of the three dollar bunch. I got this at another dealer, but it's uh, Nightwing twenty nine. Nightwing twenty nine. Uh, I think this is considering the first appearance or one of the first appearances of the Batman Who Laughs. Got that one for actually for cover price, three dollars, and I think this is probably about a fifteen to twenty dollar book right now. It's Dark Knight's metal tie-in, Nightwing number twenty nine, and that one's in great shape. Probably a nine point eight. Now some other stuff that I did pick up there that was not in the bargain bins, and we'll kind of show you what I got. Here's an unusual one. I had to buy it to the guy who wanted 40 for it. Uh, I talked him down to 10. It is a uh, U uh, UK, United Kingdom, Iron Man. You see the weird, the one pence mark up here in the corner, one pence, instead of the, like the regular pricing you would see. 
but it's Invincible Iron Man number 30. And uh, it's just an unusual book, English variant. You know, I always like to pick up these variants. Especially when you get them reasonably priced. And I got this one for like 10 bucks. So yeah, I think I do good on that one. Probably will flip that one pretty easy. Spider Woman number one. I say this is probably maybe a low grade find. It's got some very few small uh, spine breaks. Got a little bit of soiling up here. Looks like an ink pen mark maybe there. Or somebody checked it off. Got some soiling in the white, which is common for ebooks. books. Has a lot of white on the covers. Guy wanted 15 for it. I ended up talking him down to 10. It's a good flat book. There's no major creasing. Uh, and the cover's good and glossy still. Inside pages are good. And it's a good flat book. You know, 10 bucks. Can't beat that for that price for that one. Here is one that I probably uh, probably overpaid on. But, you know, you have to live and learn. I said earlier, you know how I just love these old strange tale books. I love that primitive looking artwork from the early books. Uh, this is Strange Tales 108. Um, I gave 35 for it. Probably, actually, probably about a $20, $25 book at the max. But, you know, when you're in a the heat of buying and uh, looking at books, and uh, sometimes you'll make a bad decision. This is probably one that I did pay too much for, but you know, hey, it'll be worth hanging on to for investment. It's just a good looking book. I picked this one up for about the going rate. This is uh, Avengers number 10, the king size annual. I think it's first appearance of Rogue. But it is uh, going for 65 there at the show. That's about the cheapest I could find it, really. And this is a really good book. I mean, it's super clean, super straight, no major creasing. The only thing I can see, it's got some very minor, minor blunting on the corners. But probably had to uh, give right about what it's going for, which is going to be probably an investment that I'm going to sit on for a little while. Been looking for that book for a while, so I'm not too disappointed with paying that for it. But, you know, I like it. Here's the next three books that I picked up. I got A Man Called Nova Number 2 and The Man Called Nova Number 3. And I also got The Man Called Nova Number 1. Had to give uh, $36 for all three books. I think that was a super, super great investment. This here looks like a very nice book. It's just got some minor blunting on the corners. But no creases, super clean cover, no spine ticks, but maybe a couple little small micro ones. I mean, it's just a really good looking book. I'd say that's probably uh, high grade, very fine. That's probably a very fine, and that's probably a fine. But uh, all three books got for $36, so you can't beat that. Uh, that was a good pick there at the Atlanta Comic Con. All right, all right. Uh, my next book, Tells to Astonish, number sixty. Probably paid up too much on this one too, but again, you know, hey, I'm I'm a sucker for the older Marvel, like Tells to Astonish, and uh, this is number sixty. Great big picture of Giant Man, the Incredible Hulk. Uh, some kid took an ink pen and wrote on the top. But, I mean, you know, 35 bucks is, other than that, it's a really a great looking book. But, uh, you know, one I probably will sit on or keep in my collection either way. So, I'm still happy with it. All right, I'm going to show you my last one. This one, actually, I didn't pick up at, uh, at the con, but I did pick it up at a uh, local comic shop here. And I thought I got a real good deal on it. It's the uh, Avengers number 87. That's the uh, first, uh, I mean, it's the origin of T'Challa. You know, with that movie fix come out, all his stuff is hot right now. Uh, this book here, you know, I give 20 for it, but it's probably about the cheapest I've been able to find such a book. It does have some rust on the staples. Uh, no major creasing. No, Really, there's no creases at all on the cover. It's got a few little dings uh, on it, but still, over and all, a really great book for uh, $20. I'll take them all day long like that for that price. Well, that's my haul. From the Comic Con there in Marietta, Georgia. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope it's very informative for you. Uh, tune in again. I'm gonna have some more videos on some hauls that I picked up. And uh, till next time, this is Solon. See ya. Bye.